Hi, Reverend Mr. Darrell Ransom's third grade class at Roberts Park Elementary School in Norfolk, Virginia. Hi, we're the Trias Detectives, and we see you're doing an activity to find out where an earthquake occurred. Could you tell us something about it? Sure. Our mentors from the Society of Women Engineers helped us with the activity called triangulation. It must have something to do with threes. Yes, we learned that in order to find the origin or epicenter of an earthquake, we needed data from three different seismic stations. Did you need any special materials? No, just a world map, a seismogram, a graph, and a drawing compass. What did you do next? First, we looked at the seismic recordings and determined when the S and P waves each arrived at the seismic stations. How could you tell which one was which? We know the P waves travel faster and arrive first. We then found the difference between the two times in seconds. For example, at the Denver, Colorado station, the P waves arrived at 10 hours and 16 minutes, and the S waves arrived at 10 hours, 18 minutes, and 30 seconds. I know, the difference was 2 minutes and 30 seconds. That's correct. We then used the graph to mark off 2 minutes and 30 seconds along the edge of the piece of paper. We slid the paper along the graph between the S waves and the P waves to find the distance in kilometers that the waves had traveled. How far did the waves travel? About 1,600 kilometers. After finding the distance the waves traveled, we located the city on the map. We used the map scale and our drawing compass to measure that distance. We placed the point of our compass on the city and drew a circle. Why a circle? We know that the earthquake occurred 1,600 kilometers from Denver, but that could be 1,600 kilometers in any direction. So we use 1,600 kilometers as our radius, and the earthquake occurred somewhere along the circle. How do you pinpoint the location? We repeated the steps with the next seismic recording for Terre Haute, Indiana. But the two circles intersected two different points. How can you tell which one is the epicenter? That's why you need a third seismic station. Once all three stations are plotted on the map, you find where the three circles intersect. The intersection is the approximate epicenter of the earthquake. 